I've installed new seals on this Banner 44 axle, axle seals and pinion seal. I use this PVC pipe that I modified to drive in the pinion seal. And this that I made with some parts laying around here to install the axle seals. I've also put a Dana Spicer metal reinforced gasket on here that needs no RTV. So I hope that works okay. I'll show you how I did it. I'm gonna remove the differential from the housing. I'm gonna remove the bearing caps first. And I'm gonna keep them in the same order that I take them out. Okay, it started moving. It, there it is. I've removed the differential from the housing using a pry method that I got out of this 1975 motor truck repair manual. I'm going to replace the oil seal that's in there. First, I got to knock it out. I'm gonna use this piece of PVC. All right, let's give this a shot. Well, I got the old seals out, but now I got some dirt to clean up. I made this tool of things I had laying around here. Just threaded rod, nuts, washers, some tubes. There's a three quarter inch inner diameter tube inside here. It fits right over that three quarter inch rod. This is made to fit right inside that seal. Found one on Amazon for $34. It's probably easier just to buy the one on Amazon for $34. Get the seal set in there. Get this started, swing it around. Okay, now it's ready to press right in. All right, time to do the other side. Kept everything in the same... Oh! Kept everything laid out in the same order that it came out. There's a letter P right there. There's also one stamped in here that's in the same relationship. This one is this way, and the one on this cap is this way. There's the letter P, and here's the letter P on the cap. So this is the way it goes. have to be properly torqued. These cap bolts get tightened to between 45 and 65 foot pounds. I'm gonna split the difference and do 55. That's 55 right there. Didn't take much. 60. So all I've done is replace the seals and 
this is all the original part, but I'm gonna go ahead and check the backlash anyway. The pinion is held still, and I'm just moving the ring gear as far as it'll move with the pinion stationary. And that's around seven, and the specifications say between six to 10 thousandths. So I'm good. Okay, I'm ready to put the cover back on the differential and I'm going to use a Spicer Performance Differential Gasket. Supposedly, you don't need RTV with this. It's uh, metal reinforced, Teflon on one side, adhesive on the other. Okay, I'm going to tighten all the housing Cover bolts, supposed to be anywhere from 30 to 40. I got it set for 35. Okay, I've made a device here to hold the flange still and the wrench to fit through here. So I can get this nut undone because it's pretty tight. Yeah. All right. We got it moving. I removed the original pinion seal from this uh, off camera, but I, I did it by driving a self-tapping screw into it and then popping it out with uh, this pry bar. I had originally tried prying the uh, seal out with this tool but realized that it was it wasn't going to work that easily i've got a new seal here i painted the metal part so it doesn't rust it's already loaded with grease i'm going to put a bead of rtv in there even though there's already a little bit of a bead right here i'm going to add a little more and then drive this in i've made a driver that fits right inside there let's see how it goes a little RTV in there the mating surface of my flange looks in good shape but I'm gonna put a little gear oil on there just to make it sure it's lubricated properly. With my device on here to hold the pinion stationary, I'm going to tighten it to 220 foot-pounds. I hope I sufficiently covered how you remove and install your axle and pinion seals. So be sure and like the video, subscribe, and share. Thank you.